Okay, so clapper. My name is Marcus John Henry Brown and I'm a performance artist who ordinarily hacks business conferences with performance art and teaches corporate people the dark arts of stagecraft. Well, I did until the virus. For most of 2020, I've been exploring how I, as a performance artist and a speaker trainer, can pivot my, pivot my work, my practice into a virtual environment documenting it all in a series which I've been calling Tiny Talks. And this is the fourth and final Tiny Talk. Look into my eyes. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome. I've been trying to make this video for weeks, months, and for some reason I couldn't quite get it to work. I was going to sh talk about my pseudo MBA matrix of usage and cost and even talk about something which I'm calling studio in a box and it got far too complicated. Bloody lockdown is getting to me. Uh, so it's been, it just didn't happen. So what I'm going to do here in this video is just concentrate on what it is I want to show you. And what I want to show you is this. This is the setup that I've been working on pretty much all year, all summer, all, all, all winter. And, um, I'm kind of calling it the Look Me In The Eyes Virtual Keynote Speaker Setup. So what I have here is um, I have two 32 inch monitors, which um, is complete overkill. But that one there I'm, I've, I'm using to monitor the cameras and the presentations and all of the other things that I'm doing. And I also use it for editing, obviously. Um, I can push the two monitors together nicely so I can, I've got a nice editing setup. But when I'm streaming, I push them aside and what you can see here is the camera setup. Now, in the box, in the teleprompter box is a Canon EOS R. I've been using a teleprompter for ever since Tiny Talk 2. In fact, I built my very first teleprompter uh, with a cardboard box and a pane of glass from an old photograph, um, sprayed the box black and, and it worked. But now I have a monitor laying down instead of an iPad or an iPhone. And, and that whole setup there is enough for me to have a teleprompter, see myself here when I'm talking to the camera, which is rather marvelous because I can make sure everything is in focus. And um, I can also um, see speaker notes. You see, what I've done is I've connected everything up with HDMI splitters and, um, and put, pop it into a HDMI switch, which means I can switch between monitors, and cameras and teleprompters and I can switch between the presentations, which means that I can have my speaker notes in my presentation should I wish to do it. So yes, it was an investment, but I'm planning to be doing virtual performances from this office for the whole of next year. And of course, the advantage of having a monitor field monitor which is connected directly up to the laptop and to the Mac mini is that I can move the the faces of my audience in to the teleprompter which is fantastic when I'm doing one-to-one -one training sessions or when I'm doing performances just for one person more about that next year so that's it that's what I've been working on now, obviously I did a lot of research and most of the ideas, uh, you know, some of the ideas, I, oh, oh, this thing here is a mix of a dream, what I wanted to do and finding a video, which I will link up to the, up here somewhere. Okay, let's uh, stop there. So that point in the edit, I thought I was finished. Then I went to bed and had a sleep and had a dream and thought, hang on a minute, there's something missing. Then I had a shave. And while I was having a shave, I realized that I need to explain exactly who helped me 
with this setup. And it's Caleb Pike from the DSLR video shooter channel here on YouTube. Now I have to mention this video because it's the video that solved the problem of how to get the monitor linked up to all of the other things that I was trying to do. And it was the HDMI splitters and the switch that did it. And it's in his video. I'm hugely grateful that the YouTube algorithm washed this particular video up onto the shores of Marcus John Henry Brown's ignorance. Caleb, if you ever watch this video, thank you very, very much. In fact, if you want to build any of the things that I've just shown you today, go to his video, click on his description text, and click on his affiliate links so that he earns some money from the work that he's put in. If you would like me to help you put together your tiny talk or help you put together your virtual conference, your virtual event, or you would like me to help you put together your virtual keynote speaker setup, I'm more than happy to help in exchange for money. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. 2020 can get in the sea. Take care, everybody. See you next time.